Hello, allow me to introduce you to the Homeowner's Handbook to Energy Efficiency. The goal of this book is that you, the reader, will be able to recognize energy problems and energy issues, be able to prioritize your energy improvements that you might want to make, and then to measure the results and to make sure that you're actually getting the energy savings that you anticipated. Let's take a quick look inside the book. So the first thing we want to talk about is how to measure energy because you have to know how much energy you're using and whether you're, a, uh, you're using the energy wastefully or that whether you're already fairly energy efficient. So that's what that chapter is all about. Uh, next, uh, we talk about uh, lighting and uh, appliances. Make sure that you're buying the correct lighting and appliances and that you're using them in an energy efficient way. Then we've got the first steps to uh, understanding heating and cooling. And what the first step is to understand what makes you comfortable and what makes you uncomfortable. So we have kind of a preliminary chapter to kind of break you into understanding heating and cooling systems. Uh, next, we're, we talk about landscaping, which is very important for energy efficiency, and especially in the warmer climates when you're using air conditioning. Uh, the trees are the best shading you can get, and you can cut your energy costs for air conditioning by quite a large amount just by having the right landscaping, and it also um, improves your property value. Then we've got a, a detailed chapter on insulation that goes from the conventional insul insulation methodologies to uh, doing a complete exterior retrofit, which could cut your uh, energy costs for heating and cooling down to about uh, a fourth of what they are now. Then uh, we have a chapter on windows, how to repair windows, how to shade rent windows, how to replace windows, how to select windows, how to install windows. And then we move into our chapter on cooling systems. And we talk about air conditioning, uh, talk about peak load and smart metering, because these all tie in very closely with air conditioning systems. We even cover evaporative coolers for you people who live in dry climates. We move on to heating systems, talk about combustion, various different types of furnaces. And uh, then we move into uh, our photovoltaic systems. We feel that photovoltaics can give you a reasonable return on investment, maybe as much as three or four percent, which is pretty good these days. So, you know, the question is, is your site suited for photovoltaics? Do you have uh, a good place to put them? Um, and all the other issues that you need to know to make a good decision on photovoltaics. Moisture management and ventilation, very important for the durability of your house and for your health. We've got to have a, a chapter on that. And then we have our, our last chapter, which is building a new home. What to think about when you start planning. You really have to think about this energy efficiency, comfort, durability right off the bat if you want to be comfortable and energy efficient in your home. So our goal is to make you an educated consumer of all these things that have to do with your house and about the energy conservation, about uh, energy improvements, and about measuring the results and getting the results. Thank you for your interest in the Homeowner's Handbook to Energy Efficiency.